Well, it's one of the fastest, biggest, horriblest causes of climate change. And yet, they pretend that they're um, all green and friendly and they've actually sponsored the wildlife expo exhibition and everything. Um, so, obviously, we want to contradict their massive greenwash um, by giving them a good clean-up, which is what we've been doing today. One last chance, please. Madam, I'm asking you to leave nicely. Thank you very much. Sir, you're very serious. Thank you very much. Trying to warn you. Just trying to warn you, have been one of the, the worst, worst people for greenwashing their image. They're a dirty, smelly international oil company who are raping the planet, who are destroying the people, who are ruining our atmosphere. They try and put a good slant on this by sponsoring art galleries and having environmentally friendly buildings, yet there they are digging up the earth, polluting the rivers. And because of the, the nature of the PR that they use, they tend to be not thought of as an oil company who's a dirty, smelly industry that's polluting. They tend to think of themselves as being a corporation who's involved in doing what's right for the people and trying to sponsor things and make the world beautiful. You're right. You want to be aware of high levels of toxicity. Fantastic. Say that. Sorry, can I just have a word with you before you go into your speech, all right? There's a government exclusion zone on demonstrations half a mile from the House of the Parliament. Not here, we're outside of it. Yeah, the other side of the other side of the building. I'm not sure it is. Sure Check it is. Map. We have. I represent myself and the planet. Right. What? Who are you representing? Myself and the millions of people that are going to die of climate change in the years to come. This is Cheryl. Okay. And that's public land. That's what they say. That's what they say. Have you seen the map? No, I'm not going to see the map because they're outside my house. I can they say, might be lying. They lie about lots of things. Well, that's, that's kind of what we. I'm just going to take a common sense generalisation. They lie about lots of things. You're now on show, man. You're now on show. We have never seen the most shell round. Can you please demonstrate on public land? So, can I clarify? It's not sock foot, though. Yeah, that's none of this is sock foot. Is that right? They're just checking. Now. They're still checking. Yeah, All right. Is this semi-private land? Is that making the same noise as this? This is definitely private land. Semi-private land. Okay, what about our planet? Is that private property too? Contaminated too. Contaminated. 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 The police are trying to stop you from being infected. Quickly, give these people healthy doses of scepticism. <laughs> quickly, quickly. Okay. This is Shell's headquarters. Yeah. We're here talking, Shell Centre. We're here talking today about 
some of the hypocritical elements and some of the disastrous things that Shell do. Like on the back of this, we talk about some of the stuff you're looking at now, the Delta, that is destroying people and land there. So I think a lot of these companies need to be snapped out of this and told what social justice is, which includes not destroying land, destroying people, robbing resources. So we, that's why we're here. Well, thank you. Have, your, have a nice day as well, and ho ho ho. All right, take care. These are the people who are destroying our planet. They're destroying the wildlife. They're filling our rivers with oil. They're destroying native peoples. And yet, there's the, the audacity to come to London, where they believe to be a centre of centre of culture, and here they are sponsoring an exhibition where they say, "Oh, look how we look after the planet." It's rubbish. It's ridiculous. What's happening across in Ireland? They're, they're tearing up the Irish countryside just to put in an offshore refinery. They're going to fill the Irish atmosphere with pollution. They're going to build a refinery on peat bog land, which has never been tested. They're going to take all the finances for all of this and take it away and build more oil. They're an evil, dirty, smelly company. Let's stop them now. Stop the greenwashing. That's why we're here. We need to come back with a bigger hose.